I said, I've been handing out prescriptions all week long. There was a young lady that we were ministering to, and I gave her her prescription. And you know what blessed me? The next day, when she came to see me, she said, there was one more you gave me, and I didn't get it. Can you give it to me? She was taking her medicine. And she wanted to get all of her medicine. Yeah. Because she was going through a really tough time. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Hallelujah. And then I'm here in front of you. And I'm giving you your prescription to get you through difficulty. Amen. Right? I don't know what's waiting for you tomorrow morning. Come on. Could be seven ugly demons. Co-workers. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's waiting for you tomorrow. But I have the way to yeah. get you through Amen. tomorrow Amen. and the next day, right? Yeah. You see, for me, rubber meets the road Christianity has to be just that, mm -hmm. right? I'm not a Sunday morning Christian. Right. Right. I'm a Monday morning Christian yeah. because that's when the rubber meets the road. Mm -hmm. And so whatever we give you, you have to be able to apply to your life immediately. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I said immediately. 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 Come on, right? So, how are we doing? We have a thumbs up? So we're way good. I say we're, I say we're way good. We have a thumbs up. Come on, somebody give me a thumbs up. We're way good. Uh, hallelujah. Why? You've got prescription. I say you've got prescription. The Word of God. You have the Holy Spirit of God, who it's His great pleasure to reveal the Word of God to you. Are you listening to me? And when you get that revelation... And you begin to walk in it. You know what he does? He gives you more revelation. Yeah. He gives you more light to walk in. Why? So that you can come up higher. Amen. Right? And then you come up higher. And you find yourself not going from crisis to crisis like everybody in the world is doing. Right. You right. find yourself from going from one level of faith and one level of glory yeah. to the next level of faith, yeah. the next level of glory. Amen. 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 That's what the word of God, anointed by the Holy Spirit, will do for a Christian. Right. Yes. Amen. Amen. Ha hallelujah. hallelujah. Are you ready to come up higher? Yes. You see, I'm ready to come up higher. I don't know about you. I'm ready to come up higher. I'm ready. Right? Uh, this status quo Christianity. Listen, I just want to make it to the end. <laughs> right? It's almost as if the church decided to start playing defense mm -hmm. instead of going out there and winning the field. Come on. Right. That's good. Come on. That's good. There's something about winning the field. There's something about standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with your adversary and saying, I am. Yes. Come but, and the greater one, yes. he he is he is in me, yes. and you made a huge mistake this morning by opposing me. Yep. You don't you don't want me to open this, do you? <laughs> Y'all know what this is. Oh yeah, that's that can, right? You, don't, yeah. you want I, really, you want me to open this <laughs> right now? <laughs> it's on. Amen. You made a mistake. You should have gone down the street to that weak Christian, right. yeah. the one that doesn't pray. Yeah. The one that doesn't read their Bible. The one that doesn't fellowship with other Christians. Yeah, That's the Christian's house you should have gone to. Mm -hmm. The world is full of them. Mm -hmm. It's sad. They're playing defense. They're huddled up in the corner. Just the devil, just don't mess with me. Listen, yeah. Just don't mess with me and I won't mess with you. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I'm going into enemy hell territory. Yeah. Ah, glory! I said I'm going into enemy hell Amen. territory. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And I am taking back what the enemy has stolen. Yeah. Right? I'm going after the drug addicted. Amen. Come on. Come on. I'm, I'm, go, I'm going after the up and out. Yeah. I'm going after the president, the CEO, the CFO. Mm -hmm. I'm, go, I'm going after them. Yeah. I'm going after the down and out. Yeah. I'm, go, I'm going after, I'm going into, yeah. I just need one, that's all. I just need one, just need one to come with me. Yeah. I don't need everyone to come. Some of you want to sit on the sidelines and watch me compete. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Here's my encouragement though. Get in the game. Amen. Yeah. Get in the game. You're more. You're more than enough. Yeah. Somebody over here, tell me they're more than enough. I'm more. Come on, than right over here, right? Yeah, right. I'm more than enough. More than yeah, enough. type it in the chat. More than enough. More than right. Enough. I am a conqueror. Yes. I am more than a conqueror through the love of God. Yes. Ha hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, we want to welcome you here to Faith Bible Church. Hallelujah. We want to welcome all of you who are joining us online in those various social media platforms. It's great that you're here with us. It's great that you're watching. 
we want to encourage you to come out and meet with us. Amen. Sunday mornings at 10.30, mm -hmm. Friday nights at 7. Amen. Get under this corporate anointing. We'll make you feel most welcome. But we're going to encourage you fine folks at home as we're encouraging these. The basic instructions before leaving earth. I've heard sermons without scriptures and scriptures without sermons. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Everything that a Christian does is based on that book in front of you. Yeah. Jesus hung, bled, and died for every word that's written in there. Yeah. So it must be important. Yeah. That's right. right? The devil's been trying to snuff it out for the better part of 6,000 years. Yeah. That New Testament for the better part of 2,000 years. Every time he tries to snuff it out, it comes back bigger and stronger. Mm -hmm. There was a French philosopher named Voltaire who made this very grandiose statement that, you know, uh, sooner or later, the Bible would be in the ash heap of history and Christians would be on the dung heap, come on, of evolution. Yeah, the very place he spoke that from, his home, is now a distribution center for Bibles for all of Europe. <laughs> Listen to me, God is not mocked. Amen. 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 And he, he is your God. Amen. He is your heavenly Father. Amen. Amen. He has given you, he has equipped you with everything that you need to be a success. Amen. That was weak. Amen. He has equipped you with everything you need right. to be a success. Right. Pastor, I don't feel like one. Well, I'm glad because your feelings have nothing to do with it. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Feelings have nothing to do with it. No. You may not look like much right now, but you know where you're going. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You're coming up higher. Right. right? We're in this series, Ruling and Reigning in Life. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Amen? Hallelujah. Why? You were called of God yeah. That's right. to rule That's right. and to reign. Amen. To rule right. and to reign. Amen. Come on, let's type that in the chat. To rule Lord. and to reign. Yeah. You're not supposed to be kicked around like a can. Right. Amen. Right. Circumstances right. aren't supposed to dictate to you. That's Amen. Right. Emotions are not supposed to be leading you. Right. Somebody right. say it out loud. I am a success. Am a success. Going, somewhere Going somewhere to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Say, gee, Pastor, that sounds an awful lot like motivational speaking. Well, I'm glad that you made that observation. Why? Because faith is motivating. Yeah. Yeah. Faith is thrilling. Yeah. Faith is over the top. Yeah. Faith is, come on, your backbone, your stalwart. Faith is your best friend. Amen. Thank you. I need. I got three. That's all I needed. <laughs> Glory to God. Some of you are going to jump in. You see, I can sense by the Holy Ghost that we're coming higher yeah. in this arena. I can sense by the Holy Spirit as he's teaching me some of these things that some of you have never heard these principles before. Amen. Some of you have heard, listen, you're a Christian. You just put up or shut up. Shh. Stay over there and be quiet with your little old Christian talk to your nope. Christian old thing, you ignorant, bigot, misogynistic, racist <laughs> yeah. person, you. <laughs> Shut up. You're intolerant. That's right. Be quiet. Yep. Shh. Yep. Listen to me. The devil muzzled the church in 2020. Mm -hmm. yeah. Physically. Yep. Put a mask on. Come on. Yeah. Physically closed yeah. buildings down. Yeah. Physically. Yeah. And I believe God was showing us if religion is your God, mm -hmm. you're serving the wrong God. Right. Yeah. Because you have a living, breathing relationship with a living, breathing God. Amen. Yeah. That's but right. here's what I know about my Heavenly Father. For everything the devil does in the earth, there's a seven times anointing right. that yeah. comes. Amen. Yeah. And I am currently walking. Yeah. In the seven times anointing. Yeah. Amen. And you're about to. Yeah. Amen. Hey, I receive it. Amen. Oh, that. I, Amen. Somebody said, I receive it. I receive Type it. that in the chat. I receive a seven times anointing. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Yes. You've been silenced for far too long. Yeah. It's time for you to start being a thermostat, yeah. not a thermometer. Oh, that COVID is terrible. Oh, the pandemic is awful. Oh, everybody's dying and sick, and oh, this is awful. And just it. Now, listen, I'm not mocking death. 
right? And there are people out there that are genuinely suffering right. as a result of COVID. It's not your job to describe the water they're drowning in. Right. Oh, that COVID's terrible. You lost your job. That's just terrible. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to be doers of the word of God. Ha! Who am I talking to? Amen. We're supposed to be Amen. doers yes. of the word of God. What does that mean? It means you get involved. Yeah. Oh, you lost your job? Listen, let's get together. Let's figure Let's figure some stuff out. Yeah. Yeah. I'll pray with you every morning. I'll agree with you in prayer. They not only are getting a good job, but it's a better job. Amen. It pays all the friends. All the money. Oh, all the money that has been stolen from you in the last 12 months. He's returning seven times. Amen. 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 Oh, I see if it'll gotten your attention. Because <laughs> some of you have had stolen resources. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you know that the Bible says when a thief is caught, he, he must, must restore seven, seven times yes. what he stole. Right. You might have lost your job during COVID. I've come this morning to make an announcement. Right. Seven times is being returned to you. Yeah. Yeah. He might have stolen health from you. Seven times yeah. is being returned. Yeah. Come on, yeah. somebody. Yeah. You need to get a hold of it. We're talking about ruling and reigning in life. Yeah. Some of you have been told you're not good enough. You're not tall enough. You're not thin enough. You're too white. You're too black. You're too red. You're too yellow. You're yeah. too brown. You got too many polka dots. What it, whatever your two is. <laughs> and listen to me. At the cross, none of it stacks up. Right. At the cross, you are a success. Amen. When you come past the cross is when you begin experiencing victory. Amen. There's the deeper. You see, the church has stopped at the cross. We're redeemed. No, no, we're saved. My sins are forgiven. I'm going to heaven. Listen to me. Come past the cross into redemption. Mm -hmm. yeah. You are the Amen. redeemed of the Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'm what? the redeemed. Ah, you're the redeemed of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I say you're the redeemed Amen. of the Lord. What does that mean? You've been purchased right. for a price. Yeah. Amen. A price was paid. You've been purchased mm -hmm. with a price. Amen. You see... Your, even your own mind will try to convince you of this with some influence from the evil one. You were born on the wrong side of the tracks. You didn't have a mom. You didn't have a dad. You grew up in a broken home. Your parents abused you. What, listen, what, and I'm not belittling any of that. These things are real. These things happen. Right. And they're terrible. Mm -hmm. They're awful. Right? Right? Yeah. Yes. They're awful. Yeah. We have to acknowledge that. Yeah. Yeah. They're awful. Right? 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 right. right. Come on, stay engaged. Right. They're awful. Yeah. But you've been redeemed. Amen. 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 You've, been, you've been redeemed. Yeah. You've been redeemed. You have a purpose. That's right. You've been redeemed to rule mm -hmm. and to reign. That's good. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. White, black, red, yellow, brown, purple, polka dot, short, tall, fat, skinny. You've been redeemed. Yeah. You've been redeemed. Amen. You've been redeemed. So, hallelujah. Our foundational scripture in Romans chapter 5. Go to Romans chapter 5. We've seen in this series that Adam lost something. He lost his place. He lost authority. He lost dominion when he sinned against God. Right, yeah. He did, didn't he? He did, yeah. We've also seen... That Jesus restored it. Right. Amen. We've Amen. seen that, haven't we? Yes. Hallelujah. So the condition that the Christian, the follower of Jesus, the condition that you're supposed to be currently enjoying is the same position that Adam enjoyed in the garden before he fell. Right. Yeah. Same Amen. level of fellowship. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, same yeah. level of illumination and revelation, right. yeah. same level of authority and dominion. Yeah. Adam had been given all dominion, hadn't he? Yeah. Over all the earth, hadn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Had he been given all authority? We know that because he was naming things. Right. right? And if you have the ability to have dominion, you have the right to name. Yeah. And he yeah. did. I, and I explained this to you about two weeks ago. Yeah. Right? If you were to have a child... And I came over to your house and said, you should name your child Fred. You would think, no, I'm going to name my child 
Sean, <coughs> why? That's your right exercising authority and dominion, right. Yep. right? You get to name your child. Right. You get to name your dog. Adam was naming everything. Right. Amen. Amen. Ha hallelujah. Glory to God. So Adam fell, his dominion was stripped, he was given over to Satan, who began a reign of terror that lasted until Jesus Christ came to the earth. Mm -hmm. He was the Lord of death. Satan was the Lord of death. Right. But Jesus came yep. and restored us to the position that Adam held before he fell. Yeah. And so let me remind you that you and I are created on a higher order than Satan. Yeah. Right. Amen. He is an angel. Yeah. He is a fallen angel. Yeah. Right. But you have been created in the image and the likeness of God. Yeah. Amen. 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 So you're created in a higher order. So let me ask you a question then. Why is he dictating to you? Yeah. Why is he telling you what to do? Why is he telling you how to do it? Come on. Let me show you how much power you have over him. You ready? I'll try that again. Let me show you how much power you have over him. Are you ready? I'm ready. How many of you are born again? Okay, so you all believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Right? That's what it means to be born again. Jesus said, you must be born again. Right? And it's done spiritually. You can't go back into your mother's womb and get born again. Right. Amen? How many of you, like me, there was a period in your life when you were not born again? <laughs> yeah. Somebody called that BC yeah. <laughs> before Christ, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and how many of you, like me, you, listen? Don't raise your hands. You were out there ripping and running, drinking, carousing, doing all the stuff you shouldn't be doing. Come on, I'll, I'll just I'll pull the covers off of me. You just act all holy, <laughs> halos all crooked on your horns. How many of you on a Friday night? Hey, let's go out and party tonight. We'll go to the bars. We'll hang out. We'll have a good time. It'll be great. You'll see. And you said, nah, I'm just going to stay home tonight. I'm too tired. How many, how many of you? Come on. Now I need to see ants. You just said, you know what? I'm staying home. I'm not going to go out tonight. I'm not going to go party. I'm just going to stay home. You were an unrepentant sinner. And you shut the devil down. Yeah. By not following that leading. Yeah. Why? You're created in a higher order. That's, yes. right. That's right. Now, you're born again. Right. Some of you are spirit-filled. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Pastor Joe asked last week, anybody want to be spirit-filled? Yeah. I didn't see any hands go up. <laughs> right? Speaking in tongues. Right. You know, that crazy tongue-talking stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I speak in tongues. Yeah. Yeah. All that's of the devil. Really? I ripped and ran for the devil. I was the number one cheerleader for the devil. I was the guy saying, come on, let's go to the bars. Never spoke in tongues once. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. I was like, What? <laughs> no, never spoke in tongues. It wasn't until I became a believer right. in Jesus Amen. that I was able to speak in tongues. That's right. Amen. Amen. It's a free gift to all believers. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. So you shut him down. You were unrepentant sinners. Right. Say, so, come on, let's go sleep with that. Bang over there. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. that. That's crazy talk. Shut them down cold. You see the authority you have? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Now you're born again. When he shows up with that foolishness now, you should be grabbing him right by the ear. You got, you got the wrong Christian, buddy. Yep. Yep. Here we go. We're going to the door. <laughs> He's going to be going to let go of my knots when we get to the door. <laughs> And we're going to open the door. I've done this in my own house. Yeah. Right? My, my wife and children, they began experiencing bad dreams at night. Uh, there was anxiety coming into the house. Anybody Anybody identify? Yeah. Anybody? Yeah. yeah. We went through the whole house. I went through every room. I bound it. I told my son, go down, open up that front door. <coughs> See you. <laughs> Off he went. And then I said, and now I speak the blood of Jesus over this property. There's a bloodline you can't cross. Right. Yeah. Right. Come on. What am I doing? I'm exercising dominion yeah. in the earth. Amen. I'm ruling and I'm reigning. Yeah. Amen. That's how you're the head of house. Amen. Not by hurry up quicker. You got those dishes done yet? Come on. That's, that's not, that's dictatorial. That is dictatorial. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Except, except if you have bad roommates that leave a lot of dishes <laughs> in the sink. Then you convince them through 
praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, we're creating a higher order than Satan. And we shouldn't be allowing him to exercise authority over us. We shouldn't be allowing him to push us around. We saw that after Jesus defeated Satan in the wilderness and at the cross and at the grave, he took back what Adam lost and he delegated it to us. We saw that in Matthew 28. He said, all authority has been given to me. Now go. You go and you make disciples of the nations. In what? In authority. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. We saw it in Luke's gospel where, where Jesus is sending out the 70. He says, I give you power over all the power of the enemy. Yeah. And you'll trample on serpents and scorpions. Right. Yeah. But there's nothing that the kingdom of hell can do against you. Right. Amen. Amen. Somebody say nothing. Nothing. I'll, I'll say it like I mean it. Nothing. 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 How do I know this? Well, Matthew tells me in 16 and 18 that I'm tougher than hell. The gates of hell shall not prevail against me. Amen. I'm part of the toughest gang in the universe. Amen. I'm a demon kicker, baby. That's not, I, oh, come on, we should get leather, right? Demon <laughs> kicker on the back of it. Yeah. Come on. Anybody? I got one. That's all I needed. Right? Demon kicker. Right? I'm a water walking warrior. A devil demolishing disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. How about you? Yeah. Oh, thank you. There's two of you that are starting to get convinced. Well, I'll just say yes because it seems like the right thing to do. <laughs> this is the audience participation part. As we start shouting back at the preacher. Amen. And if you're still not convinced, well, then stay connected. Amen. 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 So let's pray. Amen. Father, thank you for your holy written word. Lord, it is like us. It is medicine to all of our flesh. And Father, this morning, not only do, do we choose to yield to you, but I choose to yield to you, wonderful Amen. Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank you, sir, that you come this morning and you unveil unfold and unfurl the written word of God, yeah. that the spirit of wisdom and revelation is resting upon us, mm -hmm. and that the eyes of our understanding are being flooded with light yeah. this morning, yeah. in yeah. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Say it out loud. I'm walking, I'm walking. In, the in the light. Glory to God. Glory so, to God. I want to take a look at what exercising authority looks like in the earth. Yeah. What does it look like? We need to give you some practical lessons as to what exercising authority looks like. Yeah. But in order for you to understand what it looks like, you must understand where it comes from. Yeah. Right. Amen. right? And I've used this illustration before. If the lights went out over here on 150 and 68, and there was a police officer standing out there directing traffic, and the police officer held up their hand, what would you do? Stop. You would, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Right? But your car... Surely could run over that police officer. Surely you could gun it right at them right. and run them over. Why do you stop? You recognize authority. That there's something behind this. There is a governmental system. By the way, the word system or anything that has the word system in it, I'm convinced it's not of God. Right. right. The penal system. Yeah. Yeah. The educational system. Yeah. Yeah. The healthcare system. Yeah. yeah. And dear God in heaven, the aviation system. <laughs> Just there's God's not there. <laughs> Amen. You recognize there's something behind this gesture. Yeah. Yeah. Something behind the police officer. The government, the rule of law, right? There's something that's there. It's the same thing as a Christian, where Jesus said, believers lay their hands on the sick Amen. and the sick recover. Yeah. You see, it's not me laying my hands on you. There's something behind it. Right. Listen to me. All of heaven. Amen. All of heaven. All of heaven. Is behind. You see, Jesus hung, bled, and died for every word that's in that Bible. And when I go to lay my hands on the sick, 
All of heaven is being brought to bear. Amen. It's not James touching them. It's the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. All power, all authority, all dominion is now being exercised right. in that individual's life. Right. Amen. Amen. And you see remarkable things happen. Right. Mm -hmm. You see cancers disappear. Yeah. Right. You see cataracts come off people's eyes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Deaf ears open. Blind eyes yeah. open. Yeah. Limbs grow yeah. out. Yeah. Seen it. Oh, glory. Are you listening to me? Yeah. All authority has been given to you. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. Not some. All. All of it. Yeah. And listen to me. Not by the government. By God. Right. By almighty God. God himself, Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. the supreme source. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Like Amen. You better preach. The supreme source of all authority in yeah. the universe. Yeah. Right? You know, they say they say this that, you know, uh, well, listen, how can God be real if you know you can't see God and you can't touch God and you can't come? How can he be real? And how can a spirit have such effect on physical things? Well, listen, let me explain this to you. If God was affected by this universe, he would no longer be God. Mm -hmm. Something outside of the universe had to create the universe that we live in. Right. You know who did that? God. Your Heavenly Father did it. Amen. You see it in Genesis chapter 1. Right. In the beginning, you need three things to have a universe. You need time, space, and matter. Right. How am I doing, scientist? Pretty good. Time, space, and matter. Yep. Those are the three things you need to have a universe. In the beginning, time. God created the heavens, space, and the earth. Matter. Right. Amen. 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 He did it outside the universe. Right. Living in eternity. Yeah. Our infinite, eternal, heavenly Father spoke into nothing, and something happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Science calls it the Big Bang. <laughs> They're right. God spoke, bang, it happened. <laughs> Come on. How do you exercise authority in the earth? Well, are you there in Romans 5? Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. Didn't leave myself a bit of time. We are supposed to be ruling and reigning right. in the earth. Amen. Right? The spirit realm and the natural realm are very close together. There are angels here this morning. That was weak. There are angels here. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're reading ahead of pastor. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, hey, listen, stay focused. Right? There are angels here this morning ministering to us. The Bible calls them ministering spirits. Right? The third person of the Trinity is here this morning. Right. We prayed and asked him to come and reveal unfold, unfurl the written word of God. Amen. 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 And here's the thing that God is trying to get across to us. Right? Here's the thing that God is trying to get across to us. If you're going to exercise authority in the earth, then you must recognize that there is a source of that authority. Right. He's the source. Yes. That's number one. The second thing, and this, I need to come out here and talk to you about this for a second. The second thing is this, that where, where God leads, it always has a purpose. Right, yeah. Right? God just doesn't do just because. Did you notice that he created time, space, and matter in that order? Right? Because if you created a universe but didn't have time, when would you put it? <laughs> Hallelujah. If you created time but you didn't create space, where, where would you put it? Yeah. Huh? So God has an order. God has a plan. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Right. And if he's trying to get something across to us, it must mean that there's some things that are coming down the pike that he's getting us ready for. Right. Because Amen. he's a good heavenly father. Yeah. Amen. Right? And I've said this to you before. I'm going to say it to you again. Tough times are coming. Yeah. Come on. And we, we started talking about that way before COVID <laughs> hit the planet. Right? So way before COVID. Do you think COVID was rough? Ain't nothing compared to what's coming. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to have to know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to know how to rule and how to reign. Right. Yeah. You're going to, yeah. listen, it 
it's coming. You're going to be told, shut up. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. And you're going to have to learn how to rule and how to reign. I get very excited about this because when you begin to see God move and he begins to lead you in this, these directions, you're going, wow, he's preparing us. Mm -hmm. He's a good father. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So the God of this world has blinded the eyes of people. Mm -hmm. Right? Corinthians tells us that, spiritually right. speaking. And as often as he can, he will use sly, cunning deception to blind God's people too. Right. Come on. Yeah. Come on, listen. Let me talk to you about deception for a minute. It's so powerful, it works in the presence of God. Yeah. Satan convinced one-third of the angels to follow him. Yeah, Where were they? They, had God's presence. they were in God's presence, weren't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So deception is a powerful weapon. So the enemy will try to use that even on the church. Yeah. Aren't you glad that we're aware of his weapons? Yes. Aren't you glad that we're aware of his strategies? Right. Say it out loud, I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. To be blinded. To be blinded. To be listening to me. And it's the word of God that will help remove those blinders. Yeah. And it's the word of God that will keep those blinders off. Yeah. Right? That's why we put on the sign out front. You shall know the truth. truth. And the truth makes you free. free. You see? Amen. You see? So we're giving you truth this morning, not man's opinion. Right. right. Amen. 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 Somebody say, I like the truth. I, I like, like the, the truth. truth. Me too. Amen. Glory to God. So, the operation that Satan's performing in the earth right now is illegal. That's mm -hmm. right. Yep. He's already been defeated. Yep. That's right. He's already been stripped of authority. Mm -hmm. But if he'll, if he'll use your ignorance against you, he'll trap you. Yeah, yeah right. If he, if, and if you, get, if you get born again, spirit filled even, hallelujah, he'll come along with sly, cunning deception right. to try to trap you again. Yeah. Yeah. That's why a regular diet of the Word of God, Amen. not a That's weekly right. diet. You see, right. you know, if you only have the Word of God once a week, you'll be definitely weak. You know, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. And and you know, daily doses of the Bible will help prevent truth decay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Truth decay. Go ahead, write that in the chat. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> right. We listen. We should be on guard against right. such things. Right. Right. But if God is trying to get something across to us, folks, then we should be perking up. Yeah. yeah. We should be leaning in. Amen. Yeah. We shouldn't be off on Arrakis. We shouldn't be planning the meatball sandwich or the epic nap this afternoon. Right. Come on. We should, right. we should be engaged. Engaged. Yeah. So we say, I'm engaged. I'm engaged. I'm engaged. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So you're there, Romans? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Romans 5 and 12. When Adam sinned, the Passion Translation says, the entire world was affected, sin entered the human experience, and death was the result. Right. And so yes. death followed this sin, casting its shadow over all humanity because all have sinned. Sin was in the world before Moses gave the written law, but it was not charged against them where no law existed. Yet death reigned, verse 14 says. Right. Death reigned as king. From Adam to Moses, even though they hadn't broken a commandment the way Adam had. The first man, Adam, was a picture of the Messiah who is to come. Verse 17, death once held us in its grip by the blunder of one man. Death reigned as king over humanity. But now, somebody say, but now. How much more? We are held in the grip of grace and continue reigning as right. kings in life, right. enjoying our regal freedom through the gift of perfect righteousness in the one and only Jesus, right. the Messiah. Amen. So this gift, this redemptive gift of righteousness gives us right standing with God. Yep. Righteousness is misunderstood, I believe, and we've done some series on it. I see that we may have to go back and touch on it again, maybe in a Friday night. So amen. we'll get you to come out on a Friday. Yeah. Amen. Thank yes. you for those two amens <laughs> and that one head shake. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. Righteousness, by definition, means right standing with God. Yeah. Yep. Right? Which means that you and I stand in God's presence without any sense of guilt or condemnation. Because the Bible says, for those who are in Christ, there is no guilt right. or condemnation. Right. It allows me to enter into my Heavenly Father's presence without that sense of being, oh my goodness, I'm a terrible sinner and I'm going to get punished. 
Right. Why? God's already forgiven me all of my sin, and Jesus has given me his righteousness. You yeah. see, I took my unrighteousness and gave it to Jesus at the cross. And Greek Jesus took his righteousness and put it on me like a robe. Mm -hmm. right. I have been given a robe of righteousness, which allows me to come into God's presence. Amen. Amen. No guilt, no shame, right. no fear. Amen. I come into my loving Heavenly Father's presence. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So the fall of man was terribly tragic. We fell from a standing position mm -hmm. to a seated position. Right, right. The church is being told, sit down and be quiet. Mm -hmm. It's going to take righteousness for you to stand up. Right. Yes. Are you listening to me? Yes. Yes. Them that sat in darkness saw a great light. Yeah. Unrighteousness is a seated position. Right. But when you come to the light of Christ, you stand Amen. up. Ha hallelujah. hallelujah. Don't bend. That's right. Don't backslide. That's Don't right. bow. Mm -hmm. Speak truth. Yes. Amen. And truth makes people free. 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 Yeah, it does. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So here we are, walking in all this freedom, and the evil one is trying to use sly, cunning deception mm -hmm. to entrap us yep. back into that way of thinking again. Verse 21 says, in the same way that sin reigned in the sphere of death, now grace reigns through God's restorative justice, ellipsing or eclipsing death, and leading to eternal life through the anointed one, Jesus our Lord, the liberating king. Freed from the fear of death, knowing that I have eternal life. Right. Hmm. God has always been a God of life. Yeah. Hallelujah. He's always been a God of healing. He's always been a God of abundance. Okay. He knows no other way. Yeah. He overflows us and overwhelms us as often as we will let him. That's why I'm in your ears on Sunday morning when it comes to praise and worship. If you'll get praise out of your yeah. mouth, he'll overwhelm you with his presence because the bible says the lord inhabits the praises of his people yeah. let me ask you a question if god is there and jesus is there and the holy spirit is there can satan be there no no so if you come to this place and by the way you should mm -hmm. the bible says as it grows darker you should not forsake the assembling together Right, of right. the brethren. Yeah. That's right. So when you're told not to assemble, when you're told not to praise, when you're told not to pray, do you know who the source is? Yes. Yeah, there you go. You don't need ice, you don't need a burning bush. He's there just as an angel of light saying, well, the reason that you shouldn't, yeah. the reason that you shouldn't, I've been on this whole road of being unreasonable. Right. Because right? the kingdom suffers violence yeah. and the violent take it by force. Yeah, Why? My faith is violent. Yeah. Why? I'm unreasonable. Yeah. You can't reason me out of my faith. You're not hearing me right. preach this right. one. That's the deeper. Right. You can't reason me out of my faith. Right. My faith in God. Amen. My faith in his holy written word. My faith in the Holy Spirit. My faith in the finished work of the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. All of it tells me. All of it is a north star compass point that I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Amen. My father loves me with a white hot, fervent, eternal, infinite love that will chase me all the days of my life. Yep. And if I'll open up my mouth and praise him, he will overwhelm me with his presence. Yep. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. Some of you have tormenting thoughts. I'm just listening on the inside. I'm not good enough. I'm never going to make it. By the way, we all fall in this arena. But there's people here this morning specifically, there's people specifically watching me. I know by the Holy Ghost, tormenting thoughts. Mm -hmm. Never going to make it. Never going to work out for me. 
And your reason you're under the sound of my voice this morning is for this right here, right now. Your Heavenly Father loves you with a white, hot, fervent, infinite, eternal love. He's saying it right out loud. Out loud, he's saying it. I know the plans I have for you. Plans with a hope and a future. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. He's saying it out loud to people this morning. Hallelujah. Hot, glo glory to God. Glo glory to God. It's why you're here this morning and it's why you're watching out there. You need to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying to you right now. He's been trying to get it across to you. You haven't been listening. Yeah. yeah. Amen. So he gave it to me to give to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Somebody say, I receive it. I receive it. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Racing thoughts. Ha! Yeah. Racing thoughts. I this now. I'm just gonna go ahead and close the Holy Ghost. Racing thoughts. You know, you go to put your head down at the pillow. Mm -hmm. Boom! And your mind goes off to the races. Can't sleep. Flipping and flopping like a fish. Back and forth. Either God is or God isn't. Either he's real or he's not. Back and forth. Back and forth. The Bible says, a man who is double-minded, in his ways he becomes un. Stable. Yes. And now the next part. These racing thoughts, tormenting thoughts, have created instability in your life. Mm -hmm. Yet you're trying to put it together. You're trying to put it together. You're trying to put it together. And the more you try to put it together, the more it keeps seeming to fall apart. Who am I talking to? It just, I, I, I go for a little while, Pastor, and I put it together for a little while, and everything seems to be good, and then it all falls apart. And then I get back, and I get back, and I try to put it all back together. I'm trying to put it, trying to get, trying to figure it out. Try, I'm up every night. I'm up every night trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't understand. I'm trying to figure it out. Why is this always happening? That's why you're here this morning. Because your prescription is found in the Word. Yes. Right. Yes. That's why you're here this morning. That's why you're watching out there. Yes. The glory of God has landed on me. Yeah. Yeah. The Holy Spirit of God is speaking through me. Yeah. It's not me, it's Him. Yeah. And He's saying this out loud. I love you with a white, hot, fervent, eternal, infinite, love you to the end of your life, love. You are, settle it, you are my child. My child. My child. And you've been called out to rule and to reign. Racing, tormenting thoughts. I'm not good enough. Can't figure it out. Every night when I go to bed, Every morning when I wake up, it's there. It's dogging my footsteps. There's something I'm speaking to right now, and on the inside, you have a witness from the Holy Ghost. This is you. And if you'll take a step of faith this morning, God will deliver you from all of that. Thank you. All of it. Do you remember there in the Old Testament where Jesse sent his son David up to the front lines because his brothers were up there fighting against the Philistines? Mm -hmm. And the Bible says that the Philistines were over on that side of the valley. And Israel was over here on this side of the valley. How many of you know if the valley is between them, you're going to have to go down into the valley? Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of you. See, some of you, that torment has been calling you out to a fight day after day, week after week, year after year. It's been a long time for some of you. Every morning, you wake up, 
And there it is. Come on over here and fight me. Yeah. You're not going to make it. You know why you can't come over here? You're not good enough. You're not strong enough. Every night. I see you. I see you lying in your bed. I can see it. I have the tears of the Holy Spirit in my eyes as I'm speaking to you. Because you're being tormented. Night after night. You're not good enough. You're not going to make it. This is going to be the end of you. Goliath. Every morning. And every night. Call them out to a fight. You know what Israel did? They hid in their tents. Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know why? Goliath, they convinced them. They believed it. They weren't good enough. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. See, Pastor, you don't understand. It's big and it's mean. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I've been there. Yep. It's big. Mm -hmm. It's mean. It's going to kill me. It's going to listen to me. The valley of Elah is the valley where David fought Goliath. It's called the valley of Elah. It was not David's appointed time to die. Right. It was the giant's appointed time That's right. to die. And if you'll listen to the Holy Ghost this morning, if you'll receive this Amen. this morning, it's now that thing's appointed time to die. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Listen to me. You can't stay in your tent and do it. <laughs> they tried putting the king's armor on David. It wouldn't fit. It wouldn't mm -hmm. fit. So David said, let me go to what I know. I'm a shepherd. I'm deadly with this slingshot. I can hit a bear. I can hit a lion. I can kill things with this slingshot. Now, I'd like to preach to you for a minute about how that slingshot is a type and shadow. Of the Bible. Mm -hmm. I'd like to talk to you about how you take the, the, the word of faith and you put it down there in the cradle. And I'd like to talk to you about how you get some momentum going. Pop, and, but I don't want to talk to you about that just yet. What I'd like to talk to you about is what David did. And listen, none of this is in my notes. I am listening to the Holy Spirit, and this yeah. is for, for it's for you, it's for somebody. Amen. Amen. So somebody say, I'm listening. I'm I'm listening. listening. So here's what the Bible says David did. He couldn't do it the king's way. He couldn't do it the world's way. You see, the world says, figure it out. Mm -hmm. Figure it out. Figure it out. And some soft soap preachers will say, well, we understand that there's a certain place we have to sit down and figure things out. No. If the Bible says, trust in the Lord at all times. Yeah. Come on. Right? right? If the Bible says, the Bible, lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, then maybe what you need to do right here and right now and leave it at this altar is stop trying to figure it out. Right. Mm -hmm. That's free. That's for somebody. I know it's a revolutionary thought. When I got fired from my job and I was trying to figure out what my next step was going to be, I did that for about a month and a half when he took me out on the deck one morning and said, as long as, I said, on the inside, didn't hear an audible voice, mm -hmm. on the inside. Son, as long as you're trying to figure it out, I don't have to. Right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't know how to do this, but you're God. Right. So I'm going to stop trying to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. The mortgage is in your hands, the kids are in your hands, my wife is in your hands, the ministry is in your hands. It always was. Right. Yeah. So here. You figure it out. You let me know what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. It set me free. Yeah. Amen. Peaceful sleep. Yeah. Why? I'm not wrestling with nothing. God's working on it. Amen. Amen. And he's got a good plan. Amen. Who am I talking to? He's yeah. got a good plan. Got Amen. Amen. <laughs> so here's what David did. The Bible says that David went down to the river and chose for himself five smooth stones. That's right. Mm. What? Pastor, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Can I explain it to you? Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? 
you dig into that Bible yeah. and go get five truths yeah. mm -hmm. Amen. regarding your circumstance. Right. Uh, if I was to preach it to you, five truths that have been washed by the water of the word of God. Five truths that have been smoothed over by time. And set, five. Or I could just tell you, get into your Bible. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you need healing in your body, don't go read about prosperity and finances. Mm -hmm. Maybe. If you, need, if you right. need finances, don't go read about healing. Come, come on. Yeah. If you need direction in your life, right. don't go reading about anointing. You find where people of God were led by the Spirit of God. Amen. Come on. Amen. Choose for yourself five smooth stones. Mm -hmm. Those become your fighting rocks. Mm -hmm. Whenever the de devil comes with thoughts, you're not going to make it. Not going to make it. The plan is with a hope and a future, a plan with a certain end. Right. Certain end. So I say it out loud. Certain end. Certain. Certain. It's a certain end. Yeah. It's a certain end where I am a success. Mm -hmm. right. Because that's what he leads me to. Right. right. That's what he leads me to. He leads me to success. Mm -hmm. And you will see in the story of David that when he went to go engage Goliath, the Bible says that he ran from the rock to the tree to the bush he did some army crawling. No. No. The Bible says he ran right at him. Yeah. He ran right. He ran Who right am I talking to? Right he at ran him. right at him. Good. Yeah. No ducking, no shucking, no jiving. He kept launching the word yeah. right at him. Mm -hmm. right. And here's what happens. You see, we think it's our effort. You know, The Bible says that that rock found the only chink in Goliath's armor. Mm -hmm. mm. There's a space right about here. Right. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Who am I talking to? Mm -hmm. yeah. you, know, yeah. you, you know why I was right here? The devil's playing mind games with you. Yeah. I, yeah. I said the devil's playing mind yeah. games with you. He's playing yeah. mind games. He's playing mind games with you. And the word of God hit him right where he was delivering it to you. Amen. Amen. And the very thing that he said, Goliath said that he was going to destroy David with, David went and took right. his sword yeah. and cut his head off yeah. in front of God and everybody. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. I got a lot more notes. <laughs> but that was a Holy Ghost interruption. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was for you. Amen. Who was it for? Come on, who is it for? See? Yeah. See? Yeah. See? See? Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm listening on the inside. This is what they don't teach you in Bible school. That's right. Yeah. No. Okay. Hallelujah. I was, I was just checking those. I was supposed to lay hands on people. Because my hands have gone numb. But it's just a sign of God's presence. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And here's what he spoke on the inside. You've had communion. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Common union. Yeah. You've had communion. Yeah. Amen. God knows what you're going through. Yeah. Right? If you'll stop trying to figure it out right. and allow him to lead you. Right. Well, what does the Lord's psalm say? The Lord is my shepherd. Wasn't Pastor Joe talking to you about yeah. this last yeah. week? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Who leads you? The Lord. Lord. Says He yeah. leads me. Yeah, he does. That's not you leading. That's right. right. If He's leading, what are you doing? Follow. Oh! We can go home. <laughs> if He's leading, then your only job is follow. Follow. So, last illustration, I'll let you go. You ready? Yeah. So, when you go to the Caribbean at night, there's very little light pollution. Am I right? Right? And, and where we were, it was, a, it, was a, it was a bay, and there were some homes built up on the hill, but there was very little light pollution. One night we were having dinner, and over uh, on that hill, here's the Lord giving me the sermon for you this morning. Mm -hmm. There was a guy out fishing on the rocks. 
it's pitch black. But every now and then you see this really bright light go on, which was him hooking, you know, hooking his bait. Right. I don't know if you, I don't know how, how you can see the cast, I have no idea because you can't see, right? But here's what we did see when he was done. You saw this light picking its way through the rocks. Mm -hmm. right? and, th th and then there was a really, really stark, sharp, steep hill and walking up the hill. And I remember turning to Cindy and saying, when somebody has a light, how close do you stick to them in the dark? Mm -hmm. Some of you say, I'm in a dark place. I'm in a dark place. Some of you are. I mean, you're, you're, I can hear you. I'm in a dark place. It tells me that the light has moved. Mm -hmm. Here, listen, stay with me. Here's the deeper. If you're in the dark, the light has moved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Catch up with the light. The light. Well, Pastor, how do I do that? I'm so glad you asked. And the entrance of thy word right. brings Amen. light. Mm -hmm. yeah, it does. Lord, your word is a lamp and a light. Yeah. Your answer is found in this holy written Amen. word. Revealed to you by the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. We'll finish the rest of this next week. Yeah. Can I pray for you? Please. Stand your feet, everybody. Here, let me read.